Hello again everyone. In this uh, video, uh, we are going to continue our adventure into the world of dynamic simulation. What we are going to do first uh, is to add uh, control loops to our system. So the design, design of control system for this system is, uh, is very straightforward because uh, the only thing that we are concerned is just the inventory control. In other words, we want to make sure the amount of liquid and gas stays constant in our system. These values are actually reflected in the liquid level in two separators and the pressure control at separator two. So we are going to go and add, uh, so before doing that, in the previous screencast, uh, we make sure the dynamic assistant is, uh, doesn't give us any error messages. So we are happy with the screen light, the green bar, and then we are gonna to switch to dynamic mode. It asked me for confirmation, and there you go. We go to dynamic mode. It is always a good practice to save your simulation before going to dynamic mode, because when we go to the dynamic mode, it's not easy to go back to your steady state setting, because we are gonna use a completely different solver in the dynamic mode. So uh, I'm going to go to, uh, from this, con from this uh, panel box, I'm going to go to the dynamic tab and select a PID controller, which is the simplest type of controller that we have here. So I'm going to place it here. I'm going to uh, rename this to LIC1. So, uh, now I have to define the pr uh, process variable that goes into this controller. So for this controller, I want to let I want to control the level of liquid in separator one. So I'm going to go and select PV separator one and the liquid level, and I will se select that. Or I will. It's better to select the liquid percent level, and I. Uh, because that makes my life easier later. Uh, and I will, for the, t for the output variable, I go to the valve PV2 and select actu actuator desired position. So this, this, is for the, this is for the cascade setup, which is not the case here. I go to the parameters tab. So we start off by from the top to the bottom. So the action of this, con this control uh, controller uh, is direct acting because as the liquid level goes up in the vessel I want my controller uh, on my way valve to open as well to release all the liquid so as to keep the level constant this is very important and many times many people forgot this uh, defining this setting here so I'm gonna start off in a manual mode before going to autom automatic uh, it didn't go through because I have to first specify some other values here. So uh, for the PV range, I'm going to specify uh, from 0 to 100% of liquid level. And now the, it accepts the manual mode from me. So for the tuning parameters, the level control is pretty straightforward. We uh, just use proportional controller, which is the fastest type of control. For the level and we are not concerned at keeping the, the level at a very constant value so because there is already a surge volume inside the vessel and um, we're just going to keep this proportional controller with kc of typical kc of two for example so that's good and uh we, i'm gonna gonna add i'm gonna add a face plate for this controller here as well which shows all the important uh, uh, variables in this controller. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to I'm going to add another PID controller for this valve. Again, this is going to be a level controller. LIC LIC two. And uh, I'm going to specify the PV again as separator two. Uh, you can always use these search box search, bo search boxes to uh, make this finding easier. I'm going to select the liquid pressure level, and for the output variable, I'm going to I'm going to add 
v3 actuator desired position again i go to the parameters this is again a direct acting uh, action and uh, i put this as manual uh, and then this is going to be 100 percent and then the kc also will be two so that's good i'm happy with this so i'm going to close this and the last controller to add is the pressure controller i'm going to add this one this is going to be uh, my pressure controller i use uh, the same tag as my vessel so i specify that's pic2 for the control uh, process variable i go to separator 2 and i select vessel pressure and for the target variable i choose before an actuator position so again i go and design again this one is a direct acting because if the pressure goes up i want my valves to open uh, as well so i'm going to select direct acting and um, so for the range for the pressure controller we just choose a range that makes sense our our pressure was about 80 880 psi so i'm going to choose something like 750 for the minimum and 1000 for the maximum so these are my ranges but tuning parameters for the pressure uh, i like to keep the pressure at a constant value because uh, i don't want to cause like upset up up and downs i can't tolerate up and downs in the pressure so i specify a proportional uh, constant of two kc of two uh, and i'm gonna specify also an an integ integ integral integral variable um, so for this uh, we need to find the, the time constant of process uh, which is calculated by dividing uh, that dividing the volume of the vessel uh, the gas part of the vessel by the gas flow rate i'm going to show the calculation uh, in a bit uh, but uh the time con the process time constant ke uh, came to 0 0.3 minutes i'm going to i'm going to choose a value that is uh three or four times higher than that i just keep 1.5 minutes for the integral parameter okay so it's all good and uh, I'm gonna add the face plates for these two controllers as well uh, this is LIC2 and this is PIC2 I'm gonna continue on uh, running the running the dynamic simulation in the next uh, video